Hello again, and welcome back to the card mat. <clears throat> Make me a match. Basically self-working. There's only one move in it. Well, two. Three. Three. There's three moves in it, but they're, they're not what you call real moves. They're not. And we'll get to them when we get to them. As you've seen in the performance, if you watched it, I used the four queens. You can use whatever four of a kind you want. If you want to have uh, like a little message or something on them, or you want the cards to come out in a particular way, particular order, have them like this. Because the first card to come out will be in second place. The second card is in third place. The third card is in first place, and the last card is in last place. Right? So that's the order they're going to come out. Two, three, one, four. That's if you want them to come out in set order, as I do. Right? Have them on the top of your packet. You start off, first move, false shuffle. Well, not false, well, do false shuffle if it's comfortable for you. Any kind of shuffle, as long as you keep them top four cards on the top of the packet. Right? Any at all. I don't an overhand shuffle where I just took up a couple of cards put it behind, got a grip of it. Shuffle off everything else, keeping hold of that little packet of cards to put on the top. I done a couple of them. And then a riffle shuffle, just maintaining the top four cards. Anyway, you then say you're going to break the packet in half-ish, but break off. You know, so you can see there's a discrepancy. There's a lot more on the top half than there is on the bottom. Break it off about that big and pull it away and see, hang on. Put a couple more on there. Peel off the top two cards. Looks a bit better, right? You just transferred two queens onto there. So yeah, basically self-working. That was your second move, by the way, pulling two cards off. I told you they weren't real moves. You ask your spectator for a number between one and ten. Hopefully they're not a smarty and say number one. If they do, you can just go one, and then you turn four, the four cards straight away, which does look a bit suspicious. Oh no, you know, you're putting that down. Yeah, you'd have to, otherwise you'd be turning that one and disappear. Trick over. Yeah. So they've got to say in a pretty highish one. Well, three or more, basically. Say they say <coughs> five. You'll deal down till you get to the fifth card. Three, four, the fifth card. Bring them over the front packet, the ones you just dealt. Are they a match? No. They're the same colour, but that does not make them a match. They're not the same value. Turn them over and put them on them piles. Then pick all of them up and put them on the top. And you ask them for another number, between 10 and 20. And say they say 14. You then count down to the 14th card. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 and 14. Now this is basically the third move. You turn them over over the back packet. Same colour, different suit, just not a match. And put them on the back packet, right? Put them onto the top. Take the two numbers, 14 and 5, and ob obviously subtract the smaller one from the bigger one. So 14 minus 5 gives you 9. Deal down to the ninth card. 1, 2, 3. Four, five, six, seven, eight, and the ninth card. Pull them over the front. Turn your left hand one first, your right hand one second. That was two, and that was three. Turn this one, and you'll get the club. Turn this one, you get the diamond. Right now. 
doing that I just had a couple of thoughts so if you want to hang on for a minute I'll uh, give you the results of my thoughts if you want to try and make it a bit more deceptive instead of just having the four queens on the top but then when you cut in the packet you're transferring two cards somebody in the know will say well you just moved two cards off there so you won't end up with a four of a kind or when it comes up four of a kind they'll say but that's because you, you see what i mean well okay put one or two cards on the top but remember how many you've put on and then when it comes to the cutting of the packet cut a little bit less and go hang on that's way short let's see one two three four we'll put another four cards on it then it's not just two the cards are coming from further down the pack if you see what i mean and it, obviously it still leaves you with your two queens on the top of that one and your other two queens on the top of that one just makes it a bit more deceptive and um, what would you have thought i had what would you have thought i had i can't remember it oh i knew i should have written it down soon, but then i couldn't because i would have stopped this um if i think on it i'll latch it on the end but up to now i can't think of it anyway I hope you've enjoyed that. Go and have fun with it. And I'll see it again soon. Yeah, if you want to make it look really good. I have spectators. I'm four, uh, four spectators. And have them each pick a card. Or have a set of four cards on the top. Which you are going to remember. Yeah. Um, easy one to remember. Two of clubs, four of hearts. Six of spades, eight of diamonds. 2468 going up in chased order. Have them on the top of the packet. And then when you do it all and you got your four packets here, you go, well, I think this one's uh, the two of clubs. I think this one here is the four of hearts. And you can name what cards they are before they get turned over. See what I mean? Yeah, just that extra little thought. Anyway, I'm gone. Yeah, I'm going to keep coming back like this. I'm in pain. Um, yeah, when you get to the, the part where you just split the packet, <laughs> give the you the packet to so your spectator and as you're counting down they're counting down you know what I mean? so it looks like you're getting your spectator to interact with you makes the effect stick better for them and makes it feel better because they're doing something yeah and hopefully that's the last thought i'll have i'm going again